Hello everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to talk about the advanced surfacing packages that Bobcad offers and a scenario where it can come in pretty handy. Um, often I've talked about back chamfers. In this case I have this uh, complicated surface edge that I need to break and it's running on this inside cylinder and intersects with this outside cylinder and uh, really the only way to tackle a job like this would be to use the advanced surfacing and a, a lollipop type cutter so let's go ahead and take a look at this we'll get into multi-axis and the strategy we're going to use is more between two surfaces uh, from here, I'm going to go to my tool crib and I'm going to grab my lollipop cutter. And uh, this is going to be the surface pass. I need to select the edge uh, or the first surface and second surface. So the first surface is going to be these surfaces here. The second surface is going to be this inside cylinder. Okay, so those are the two surfaces that I want to look at uh, uh, generating the tool path between. Uh, the other surface that I want to select is the drive surface, and this is the surface that the tool will be uh, driven on. So I'm just going to select these surfaces here, just like that. Okay, so now our surface selection is done. What I want to do is I don't want to take multiple passes. I just want to take one pass on this, so I'm going to say determine number of cuts, and number of cuts is going to be one, and that will give me a path right in the center of my drive surface. Uh, other than that, this is going to be a three-axis routine. And then I do want to add a lead in and a lead out. And let me just adjust this a little bit. I want this to be 50% uh, of my cutter here. And then I'll do 50% of my cutter there. That's the radius size that it will sweep in on. Other than that, I'll go ahead and compute. And here we can see our tool path being generated. This is going to use the bottom of the lollipop cutter here. And as we transition up into here, it will use the top of the lollipop cutter. Let's go ahead and run this through a simulation to take a look at it. Again, this is found with the advanced uh, surfacing package. It's one of the seven surface-based strategies that you get. When you get the advanced surfacing package, you can use these in three and uh, four axis. If you go up to uh, the five axis pro, you can use it in five axis as well. So here we can see the tool is gonna come down. Looks like I have a little bit of a, a clearance issue so I can adjust my lead a little bit more. Uh, to make sure to miss that edge, but you can see how it's driving along with the top of the ball there and working along and cutting this surface here. So a very powerful uh, tool path strategy, uh, allowing you to machine very complex uh, curves and uh, undercuts. And again, this is morphed between two surfaces. Now we did encounter a, uh, a gouge here when the tool came down, so we can come in and look at adjusting our leads uh, we also have a uh, gouge checking that we can use as well. So let's look at our lead here. Let's just bump this up. We'll make the, uh, actually, is it the lead in or lead out? Yeah, I think it's the, I think it may be the lead out. Let's run it through a simulation and see again. Uh, one of the vital tools that you have in here is simulation so you can accurately see uh, what is happening and then based off of what's happening you can make adjustments to your tool path so that you um, are getting the results that you're looking for so the lead in looks pretty good there no longer clipping it let's see if we get it on the lead out well, it looks like it's still getting it slightly there so we'll need to adjust it a little bit more but again uh, we're definitely much closer. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn some gouge protection on. So I'm going to gouge check and let's say retract tool along surface normal. Uh, let's add some check surfaces here. So that's going to be this surface, this surface, and this surface. That looks good. Let's recompute here. All right, that looks better. Let's run this through the simulation. So again, the first thing I did was change my leads. Um, 
got a little bit better, but it was still clipping that surface. The second thing that I did was just throw the gouge check on. And with the gouge check, we should eliminate that problem entirely. So we no longer see it bumping into that surface there. And we can clearly see it riding up this, uh, this uh, uh, chamfer here and machining with the top. Yep, and now we have, uh, we have no collision there. So again, if you guys have any questions or comments or feedback, please reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Uh, if you like the video, let's get a thumbs up. Otherwise, uh, you can always comment, and I'll be sure to answer quickly. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.